Well, hi there, this is Dr. Dell, and uh, one of you have asked me about the concept of infinity, and what does it really mean, and how do mathematicians deal with it? Well, first of all, let me tell you this. There is no such thing that I'm aware of in the real physical world as something that's infinite. Now, there's two kinds of infinity. One is the number of objects you would have in a set, and the other is the concept of distance. How far out would something go? Would a straight line go on forever, or to some infinite extent? What I want to talk to you about today is the concept of, of a numbers infinity. And let me give you an example of that. Uh, the counting numbers is the first thing you learn about. One, two, three, four, five. And we've devised, uh, our ancestors invented a wonderful system for uh, enumerating these numbers. It's called the place system, uh, the decimal system. And we can actually create as large a number as we want to using a decimal notation. Uh, because we're using powers of 10, you probably understand that. Uh, you count by tens and then hundreds and thousands and so on and so forth. And really that, those are 10 to uh, what's called an exponent. So we can create numbers as large as we want. There's no limit to the size of number. So what mathematicians did uh, pretty early on, actually probably several hundred years ago, they said, well, how many counting numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, and this just goes on and on. And no matter how big a number you have, you can always find a bigger number. Just add one to it. You get a bigger number. They said, well, there must be uh, there's an unlimited number of them. So it's not a finite number. It's, uh, it's something different than finite. A finite, something is finite if you can actually attach a specific number to it. If you go into a football stadium and say, how many people are there? It's a lot of people, but it's not an infinite number. It's a finite number, it's like 50,000 or 100,000. Uh, how many bacteria are in your body? Well, they've now discovered that there's probably about 10 trillion bacteria in the human body. But it's a number, it's a finite number, it's not an infinite number. But there's no limit to finite numbers. So mathematicians said, well, let's consider the set of all numbers. It's not finite, therefore it's an infinite set. And so mathematicians talk about the set of all counting numbers, and they call that an infinite set. And that's not too hard to swallow. You can imagine somehow, at least in our imagination, there can be such a thing as a set of all counting numbers, and that can't be finite, therefore it's an infinite set. And mathematicians give it a name, they call it capital N. Okay, that's the beginning of the idea of infinity. Now, things really start getting dicey. Mathematicians wanted to treat the concept of infinity very rigorously, so they came up with definitions, axioms. I told you in the theory uh, video, uh, you have undefined terms and axioms, so they have an axiomatic system that defines what an infinite set is, and the counting numbers are the first example. Now what's another infinite set? Well, take all of the fractions. Now that that's certainly includes all the counting numbers, but it's a lot more than that. So that's also an infinite set, and you might think, well, maybe that's a bigger infinity. But mathematicians found a way to correspond it in a one-to-one -one correspondence with natural numbers, so it's considered the same size of infinity. So then you think, well, all infinite sets are the same size. Infinity is infinity. Well, that's not true either. Uh, it turns out that if you take all the so-called real numbers, which is all of the numbers you can write in decimal form, where you have an infinite decimal expansion, they call them real numbers. It turns out that set is a bigger infinity than the natural numbers. That was discovered by a mathematician named Cantor in the late 1800s. And quite frankly, he went crazy over it because it was not a well accepted idea. But today it is mainstream mathematics. So if you talk to any theoretical mathematician today and you ask them about infinities or infinite sets, they'll say, oh yeah. There's infinite sets and there's different sizes of infinite sets. And in fact, for every infinite set, you can always find one that's a bigger infinity. And that's very hard to swallow. That's very hard to accept in the beginning. And But it, it's mainstream mathematics today. And in the next video, I will talk to you about how that can lead to one of the first very counterintuitive things that's hard to accept in theoretical math when we talk about rational and irrational numbers. So this is Dr. Dell. Talk to you in another video.